Here's this week's PYFA devotional. We hope that you find it encouraging and inspiring. Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. My name is Faith Thomas and I attend Emmanuel Pentecostal Church of God in Yonkers, New York. And I'm so thankful and grateful for PYFA for giving me this opportunity just to share what God has been speaking to me. And so I'd like to meditate on the chapter, 1 Samuel chapter three. And this is a common story that most of us probably learned when we were younger in Sunday school. And this is a story where Samuel hears from God. And Samuel was a young boy growing up in the temple, and Eli was sleeping in another room, and it was nighttime. And Samuel hears this voice calling out, saying, Samuel. And this happened three times in the night. And every time Samuel heard this voice, he mistook it as Eli calling him from the other room. And there are two principles I want to share from this initial reaction of Samuel. And the first one is, is that you need to be able to recognize the voice of God. Samuel wasn't able to recognize the voice of God, and because of that, he interrupted Eli's sleep along with his own because he wasn't able to tell that God was the one speaking to him. Instead, he thought it was Eli in the other room. And one way that we're able to recognize the voice of God is simply by spending time with Him. Um, I know that I can recognize my sister's voices wherever I go, and that's just because I spend so much time with them, even more so after this quarantine period. But in the same way, the more time you spend with God and the more time you intentionally spend with Him, whether it be through prayer, reading His Word, listening to sermons, just different ways you spend time with Him, the more you'll be able to recognize His voice and discern that He is the one speaking through to you. And the second thing I wanted to share from this initial reaction was that every single time Samuel heard this voice, he went to Eli and said, Here I am, you called me. And this was a beautiful reaction in my opinion, because it shows us that every single time you hear from God, even though Samuel didn't recognize it was God, he made himself available to what the voice had to say. And in the same way, whenever we hear from God, our initial reaction should be, here I am. Make yourself available to what God has to share to you. And we know that Samuel didn't recognize that it was the voice of God, but under Eli's guidance, he was able to realize that God was trying to speak to him. So the next time that God actually called him in verse 10, Samuel finally responds saying, speak Lord, for your servant is listening. And this shows us that when you make yourself available to God, and you are able to recognize God's voice, God will speak to you. And we see that when God speaks to you, it may not make you comfortable. In verse 15, we see that Samuel was afraid to tell Eli what God spoke to him. And that was because the voice of God shared judgment over Eli. And that made Samuel very uncomfortable. So when you hear from God, what God tells you may push you out of your comfort zone. And even more so, the process of hearing from God may not make you comfortable. It was the nighttime, and it was probably a time that Samuel, and especially Eli, did not want to be interrupted. But God spoke to him and interrupted his sleep three times. In a time that was supposed to be comfortable, Samuel was awake. And that's because that goes to the principle that you need to get uncomfortable to grow. And this is very true in our spiritual lives. At the beginning of the chapter, Samuel couldn't even recognize the Lord's voice. But after a period of discomfort, after a period of lack of sleep and just toiling between whether or not he should tell Eli, this discomfort only happened after he was able to hear the audible voice of God. We see tremendous growth in Samuel's life just within one night because he made himself available to hear from God. And speaking from my own personal life, getting uncomfortable also means saying yes to opportunities that God places in front of you. A lot of people who know me personally know that I avoid public speaking at all costs because it is something I am extremely uncomfortable doing. I don't think I'm, I'm a great public speaker, so I avoid it. And because of that, it makes me super uncomfortable to speak. But one thing that God has been sharing with me over the past few years is that when you get uncomfortable, God has given the room to work through you in ways that you never dreamed possible. And the only way you can truly get uncomfortable is by saying yes to the opportunities God presents before you. Because when you say yes and in a moment that you're uncomfortable and God uses you because he will equip you and 
carry you through. When you say yes during those moments of uncomfort, discomfort, you know that all glory goes to God because you know that you were never able to do that on your own, but it was God working through you. And in those moments, God will show you areas that you never dreamed that you could make an impact, that you could change something, and that's all God's glory. And I just wanted to share with you and encourage you, just get uncomfortable and make yourself available so that when God speaks to you, you're able to say, here I am, use me. May God bless you with these words.